Ah, okay, we can go so- Oh my god! There's a huge-ass thingy over there. Good wintry day to you, space mates. It's me and Phoenix Flare, and welcome to another episode of I Am Setsuna. So we're heading into the Twalisk Mountains. From the last episode, we we're supposed to get in here and... Apparently, once we go past this, we will reach the last lens. I'm not too sure how close we are, actually. So... I wonder if the game is gonna end soon. I hopefully... Hopefully not. I don't think so. That would be too short. Even though I know this game is supposedly... A 20 hour game. Or something like that. Hey, Setsuna, don't miss. Okay, so I spent a little time leveling up off screen and then trying to get some... Flux bonuses on my sprint nights. Still don't exactly sure. I mean, I still don't exactly know how the whole system works, but I'm just winging it. Oh, uh, item. As always, if you guys enjoy the video, hit that like button. And if you want to stay updated with the channel and the series, subscribe and follow me on Twitter. What the heck is a cabin? Oh, is that like a super powered? There's like a super powered tent. And I did not realize tents didn't heal full HP. I thought they did. You turn around now, you. Alright, let's hit him where it hurts. What? I didn't get my momentum. And I did not know Setsuna was so low health. Uh oh, he's gonna hit Setsuna. Oh. Damn! Okay. Gonna have to continue this on without Setsuna. Let's try. No, wait. I want my momentum. And then I'll just attack normally. I wonder if Setsuna will be revived after the battle. I've never had this happen before <laughs> in a stupid random battle. That was very careless of me. Okay, that's lucky. At least Setsuna uh, gets H uh, EXP even though she's dead. Because in some games, you don't get no EXP when you're lying on the floor dead. Which is stupid. But that doesn't answer the question now because I think she did she got full HP after the level up. Oh. That's certainly a different music. Oh crap! I think I know why. That's Sprint Knight monsters. Sprint Knight Eden, that's why. Oh shit. Okay. I didn't know, I think. That's my conjecture at least. Oh shit. Time to do an aura. No time to wait for... Momentum. Right, they're still not dead even after... So many hits. Oh dear. I really didn't know. Oh crap. KK. I gotta concentrate. Oh no. Hi. Throw a potion on Setsna. Not sure if they'll actually prevent her from dying. Uh, okay. Come on, get your momentum. And he's dead. Oh dear. Is this a game over? Yep, we got frozen. And this is the first game over of this Let's Play because I was an idiot and I didn't pay attention. Okay, hello everyone. I'm back at <laughs> the place we left off. Instead of going to the right to fight the Sprit Knight in mo eaten monsters, 
We're now going to the left. Sir Endier. Someone's calling your name. I wish to speak to you in private. Please come alone. I shall be waiting up ahead. What the heck? Hmm, is something wrong, Endier? Let's take a rest. It's unusual to hear you say that sort of thing, Endier. Aha! I know what it is. Huh? What? What is? Come on, let the man have his dignity. He wants to pee. <laughs> I think. Go on, hurry up and do what you need to do. Um, thanks for that, Nidio. Hello, who the heck are you, white man? I must say, I could not believe my own eyes. To what end are you accompanying this sacrifice on her journey? <laughs> are you waiting for a chance to execute your mission? I have no idea why I'm giving this guy a game, game show host voice. You're not going to tell me that you have switched sides, are you? Depending on the circumstances, you may you may end up having to cross swords. Oh, this is the guy who call, told me to go kill Setsuna. I would advise you to think carefully before answering this question. Why have you not killed the sacrifice? I should stop this. I'll kill her eventually. There's no need to kill her. I'll be like a purple. A mound maker from Dark Souls. Help the host all the way to the boss gate and then backstab them for some shattered vertebrae. Shackled vertebrae? I forgot what the item was. Why must the sacrifice be killed? What meaning will killing her have? Why must we kill her? Because my master has ordered it. That's all I can say. Even if I myself were reluctant, I cannot go against my master's orders. It does not appear that you are daunted by your task. However, that only makes me wonder all the more why you have not yet killed her. She's already destined to die. Perhaps that is indeed true. The life of the sacrifice is destined to come to an end in the last lands. Her death is inevitable, regardless of whatever, whether or not we take action. Even if we do nothing, the sacrifice will die. Thus, there is no need for us to go out of our way to kill her. Yes, you understand? Is that what you wish to say, Sir Endur? I want her death to have meaning. Sacrifice continues on her pilgrimage, fully prepared for death, does she not? She intends to give her life, own life in order to play a part in protecting the world. I too am prepared to readily give my own life for my master. It is not that I cannot comprehend the pride she carries in the heart. I came to you with this mission, Sir Endear, because I was ordered to do so by my master. However, it is certainly true that if the young lady is already prepared for death, then why... No, no, please pay me no mind. Let me ask you one last question. What do you intend to do next, Sir Endier? I want to see her journey through. I take it you should not go back on your word. Dear me, even if it was on orders from my master, I am loath to do this sort of thing. Very well. I shall keep the matter of the sacrifice assassination to myself. However, please remember one thing. You and I are now complete strangers, Sir Endia. Even if we should meet again, our lips shall remain tightly sealed. Now, if you will excuse me... Well, excuse you, princess. That was a long trip. You didn't get attacked by monsters while you were washing your hands, did you? Finally, I'm sick of waiting. Come on. Let's go. Move it. And you, is something wrong? Stab her now. Don't die before this journey is over. Huh? Why are you saying that all of a sudden? You're a strange guy, and you. Yeah, really. What, did you just realize? Alright, break time's over. We don't have time to be hanging around like this. Okay. Let's see if there is something here. Yeah, we have this, but we can't open it yet. Really makes me wonder when we're gonna be able to open silver chests. Hello. Hopefully they're not spread night eating monsters. I would hate for that. Two attacks is enough to kill one of them. So that's great. 
Uh, hey, don't slap me. Yeah, bitch. Oh. Momentum lock means that I can't use momentum mode. But we have enough to wipe your face on the floor. Although it's a soft floor because it's covered with snow. I'm wondering what the boss is gonna be like. At least give me a proper save point before that happens. Okay, so we got a talisman. Archangel Angelic Tear. Momentary defense. I don't really want that. What I did was I equipped all my characters with uh, talismans that gave MP recovery. So that my text will cost less, less MP. I think that's a good flux to have. Powder cloud? Oh crap. Uh oh. But I'm confused, so how do I... Huh. Let's hope I don't attack myself. Okay, I'll use aura and... Cures everyone's status ailments. Tetsuna, can you do enough damage? Nope. I would have guessed though. Alright, bye fox lady. Foxy lady. Okay, should I? I think uh, I shouldn't willy nilly add fluxes to my stuff now. Because I can't confirm if you can actually remove fluxes. And I'm pretty sure there's a limit to how many fluxes you can have on a, a Sprit Knight. I think I mentioned it before, it should be like 10. So you just, you can't just randomly add them. Yeah, I would like MP consumed to be lessened, decreased on all my Sprit Knights. Okay, that's three of them. We're gonna have to be careful with this one. Let's heal our MP. Oh, I missed my trigger. Damn it. I think this is kind of game breaking because Setsuna can heal her own, her own MP with that skill. Don't know how much or how OP that would be in the long run. That thing still not dead. Oh, damn it. So what does confusion actually do? Oh, jeez. Let me get a turn with you. Alright, which one is the one that I attack? Now I know that it's useful to see people's HP. Yeah, see? You can just keep healing her MP like that. I think it might be broken, really. Especially if I get all my Sprint Knights to have a uh, decreased MP cost. Did you die? Yeah. Thank you. Mmm, gotta get some silky hair. <laughs> From the fox ladies. Okay, more fox ladies. Let's backstab. Three of them again. And Kerr. Smack that. Get on the floor. Smack that. Uh, I missed Aeternos fast. ATB filling up of the gaugeness. This ice animation is taking way too long. Is it loading or is it just like that? Do I need to do anything? No, not really. Alright. I think even um, Endure has a better... Uh, he's a better healer than Setsuna now because his aura actually heals multiple people. Unlike Setsuna's cure, which is only one person. 
And there wasn't any boss, so that was cool. I don't want no too many bosses. Oh, we can't go there. There's actually a cliff wall. I thought that was like a road. Oh! What do we have here? Some complicated looking mess of a tower. Which I'm gonna completely ignore. And head on down here. Oh, Fluenberg Waters. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to go there yet. Are we in the last lens? Cause curse it. Once we're through Twalisk, we are in the last lens. A path ruins. Are we supposed to go inside? Okay, we're inside here. It's locked. So I guess not. <laughs> Hey, come on, the, the starting um, keys of this melody sounds like Final Fantasy's prelude. So, I mean, I know this game is a really huge homage to RPGs. We're going to go to the Floyberg Waters and... Oh, hello. New enemies. Spikun! Not that tough. Time light. I really have no idea what yes. that is at the moment. Let's try and get set some oh some fluxes on Setsuna. We can cure Kerr, I guess. Get some cyclone? No, back slash. That should kill it. And fire drain of bio. Let's do fire. Nice. Not too tough, the enemies here. Alright, MP consume, that's what I want. It's gonna get a bit boring soon with all the ice theme of the whole game. Oh, cutscene. Looks like we're gonna be walking across ice for a while. We got no guarantee it wouldn't crack. And we fall in the sea, we're done for. I've been here once already. Did you make it across? I fell in the sea and almost died. I gave up after that, obviously. A wise decision, I'd say. It's gonna be hard for anyone to get across here, unless they really know what they're doing. There should be a village near here, Royberg. Maybe we'll be able to find someone there who knows how to get across safely. Let's go there and hire a guide. Yeah, I agree. That'll be the surest and safest way. Yes, I think that's the best way to make sure we all get across safely. Not said. Alright, it's settled. Let's head to Royberg. So how do we go to Royberg? Hopefully we can find someone to help us get across. Royberg's... Ah, okay, we can go so oh my god. There's a huge ass thingy over there. Though I will assume it's a different iteration of the walrus thing we've been fighting. Yeah. Alright, we can afford to wait a bit. Actually, I can use aura. Oh. Uh thanks. For well, nothing. Setsuna will use prayer on Endure. Let's get some fire going on. Start some fire! I'm a fire starter. I'm a fire starter. Okay, let's get some aura. Recover our HP! Maybe I should have used the momentum. Oh, ouch. That is painful. Okay, Setsuna, please cure her. And we will backslash this idiot. Alright. Oh, backslash actually damages multiple. I was afraid it would be a strictly single target attack because it's like a backstab kind of thing. Usually high damage but single target. And there's more. Oh, this trip to Royberg isn't as simple as I thought it would be. 
Backslash again. They're pretty close. Now I'll kill Balloon Popper. And then... Let's try Bio this time. I'll give prayer to Endure again. Ah, we got one small shell left. Smack his ass. And he's dead. Alright, is this? Yes! More MP consumed. I think I'm just gonna go simple and give everyone MP consume. Uh, no, that wasn't a talisman. That was a Sprit Knight. Valiant Poem. Filling the ATB gauge when defeating enemies. I don't really need that. It's not useful for bosses. I would always tend to customize my characters for boss fights. Because those are the harder fights, harder battles. Random encounters like this, they're not too tough. Don't really need to build specifically for them. Unless you're grinding, I guess. That uh, didn't kill that. But this should. No. Setsuna gets the last hit. We're not getting a lot of EXP, so I would think that we are at the level we're supposed to be. Eternity Laver, non-eternity lover. What it do? It's just an ingredient. It doesn't even say much. An ingredient found near the northern areas. At least give some description. Or maybe there's more, but I need to go into the menus to read it properly. So where be this Roybug? I would think it's there. Alright, I'm gonna cut the episode here. We'll be heading into Roybug next. If you want to see what happens, be sure to follow this series. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Infi, blasting off.